Welcome to Everything I'm Joyce, I'm CA and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up proxy fire to run internet for your windows applications behind a proxy. So watch this video till end and let's get started. So proxy fire is a very lightweight application that enables your windows applications to connect to internet even if you are behind a proxy. So the setting that windows provides you by default doesn't applies to all of the applications. It only applies to the applications which support proxy by default. So proxy fire enables the proxy settings for all of the applications even if they don't support proxy settings. So for that you first need to download proxy fire. So for that connect to internet and then go to web browser and there you need to search for proxy fire. Now you need to go to the very first link and then you need to click on this download button and it will show you the download dialog box. So just go to the desired folder and then click on save. So it will download the setup for proxy file. So once the proxy file setup is downloaded, you need to click on that. Now you need to click on the yes button. Now you need to click on next. You need to accept the agreement by clicking on this and then you need to click on next. Now click on next, click on next, click on next and click on install. And now you need to click on finish. So now it will open up a small dialog box. Here you need to set up proxy fire evaluation key. So you need to click on this enter registration key. And now in the company name, you need to type the following that I am typing. So the name is serial killer where the s of the serial is small and all of the other letters are capital and same goes for killer so k is small and all of the letters are uh, capital now in the registration key you need to type the following that i am typing so once you have typed the details click on ok and then click on ok again so now it will open up the proxify window. So there are a few setups that we need to do before we connect to internet. So the first thing that you need to do is connect to the internet service provider. So here I am in MNNIT and we have the MNNIT Wi-Fi. So I will connect to the MNNIT Wi-Fi here. So if you get internet through ethernet then you need to connect to ethernet via LAN cable. And if you have a Wi-Fi then you need to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So I have connected to my uh, Wi-Fi. And now what you need to do is you need to set up the proxy settings. So click on profile and then you need to click on proxy servers. Now click on add and here you need to add the address of the proxy. So this will be provided by your internet service provider. So if you are watching for MNNIT proxy setup then I'll be giving the list of all the proxy addresses in the description of this video. So I'll type the details and now you need to type the port. And in the protocol you have to select HTTPS and then you need to click on enable if your proxy server has a password and a username. So we have a password and a username for our service provider so I will click on enable and I will type the ID and the password here. If you don't know what the username and password is you need to contact your service provider and now you need to click on check. So you can see that the proxy setting has been checked and the connection has been established. So click on OK and now you need to click on OK again and click on Yes, click on OK, click on OK. So we have successfully added our proxy server. Now in order to enable the connections, you need to click on Profile, you need to click on Advanced, you need to click on Services and other users and then you need to enable these two options and then click on OK. Again go to Profile click on advanced and you need to click on handle direct connections. So the proxy fire has been set up and now each and every application of your windows machine will be able to connect to internet even if you are behind a proxy. So there are a few more uh, things that I want to tell you. So if you close this proxy fire window, it will not uh, stop the proxy fire service. It will be running behind the scenes. So in order to stop proxy fire, what you need to do is you need to go to proxy fire application so the proxy application will be here in the bottom so I have this proxy fire here 
but some of you might be having it inside this particular tab so just click on this up arrow and then you can find proxy file here but mine is here so i'll double click on it and it will open up the proxy file window in order to stop proxy fire what you need to do is click on file and click on exit and click on yes so it will exit the proxy fire service and now your computer is not having any proxy so you need to exit proxy fire every time you want to connect to your own hotspot and uh, to start proxy fire again you just need to go to start search for proxy fire and then click on it and it will automatically start proxy fire so you can see that i have proxy fire running in my taskbar so you can just double click on it to view the proxy fire window so this is how you need to set up proxy fire on your windows machine to get the list of the proxy ip addresses uh, for mnnit you can just refer to the link that is given in the description so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one